Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to episode three of Deals and Heels. Thanks so much for following along. Uh, this morning, I'm actually going to take you guys uh, with me to our monthly book club. So once a month, the team gets together uh, to discuss the book of the month. This month, we read the 12-week year, um, and I'm super excited to see what the girls' takeaways are. Um, well, thank you for participating in our monthly book club. So, did everyone enjoy the book? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, for me, I had a few big t- t- takeaways. One being my overall vision and what my vision is of my future self and where I want to be, not only from now, but in 12 weeks, next year, the year after. And so, I really like that he puts a lot of focus into okay, what is your vision? And then, in addition, what are the action plans that you need? every day in order to make your vision come true and so that really hit home with me because i think we all we all have a vision of what we want and what we like and what looks good and what will make us feel good but it's the action and if we don't have action then at the end of the day it's never going to you know um come into fruition in terms of this book i mean obviously we apply it towards our business goals but it really pertains to everything in life you know and breaking things down and making them a little more strategic rather than just envisioning this big picture is um is so beneficial to obtaining small goals which then creates the vision right Um, To be truly effective, your daily activity must align with your long-term vision, strategies, and tactics. So, 12 weeks is just more attainable than 12 months to me. Um, I wrote, intentionality is your secret weapon in your war on mediocrity. So, again, lead gen and just doing, making those damn calls every single day. Like, what was reaching out to people for our, you know, you said, 50 people mm-hmm. need to enter this giveaway. our giveaway um, in the next two days. I literally sent out like 110. I mean, I didn't have 110 conversations, but I reached out to 110 people in one day. Mm-hmm. Like, hello, I could be so much better about reaching out to people. Yeah. Um, because we do you, overcomplicate you, everything. Yeah, you just never know who's going to be like, oh my gosh, of course I'd like to help you. And then now I have like this dialogue going with people that... I'm like, holy cow, like they're really, they really care about my business or helping, just helping. Some of my key takeaways were um, working on the business instead of in the business. And I think you guys can all agree that I tend to work a lot in the business. (laughs) Um, And so I I do take pride in being the person that my clients, uh, you know, interact with on a daily basis and um, and oftentimes I get caught up in um, the busy work versus like the vision, right? And so, um, so that's something that is going to be a focus of mine and even just like our, um, our, our charity events that we're putting together, like that's really important to me and that's really important to the business. And so therefore making that a priority and, um, and just you know, learning new ways of how I can help you guys grow. Um, and, you know, obviously my whole vision and my whole, um, you know, motto around our team is that, like, the better you are, the better we can all be, right? And so I think that that was really big for me. And um, and I know sometimes I just need to stop and take a chill pill and really, like, slow down um, in order to, to speed up, right? Yeah. So... That, that was one of my really big takeaways. If you are not in control of your time, you are not in control of your results. Yes. So that's Thank super important, that. and that goes back to that time blocking, you know, and that for me, and we've talked about it, mm-hmm. is so important running multiple businesses, you know, to have that set time. You'd be so proud of me yesterday. I didn't take your call because I was time blocked. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, she'd actually that. appreciate this. <laughs> and I literally 
I even told, I told Aubrey, I'm like, what the heck? She's not answering. And I know she was like working. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, sorry, I'm on a time block. Oh my gosh. So um, it has helped my productivity instead of just being busy. Um, Cause it's not enough to be busy. What are we busy about? And mm-hmm. That's what you talked about. Um, I really like this point in the book about accountability because sometimes we think that accountability is a bad thing and like there's consequences to it and you know we're gonna get reprimanded or you know even leader being or leader even arrow <laughs> being the leader of this team you know um, sometimes we feel like we have to answer to her but it's all of our own businesses mm-hmm. and that's that ownership Um, I loved this when he said, you can hold a bag of groceries and a baby, but you can't hold someone accountable. Mm -hmm. And I think it's changing that mindset from like, oh, I have to do it because somebody told me to do it, Mm -hmm. to this is my business. I'm going to own, you know, my actions in this so that I can have a better outcome on the results. Mm -hmm. So that was huge for me. Also, there are no have to's in life. You don't have to do anything. We, We didn't have to show up today. We didn't have to read the book. You know, but it's changing that mindset to choose to. I choose to show up for my life. I choose to show up for my business. So that was huge. And uh, yeah, I had I had multiple takeaways. Commitment lasts when interest fades. And are we spectators or participants? So okay, so my number one, as I had said, identify goals to complete in 12 weeks instead of the one year. Um, view each week like a month, focus and commit to the goals, say no to interruptions and distractions, as we had said. Mm -hmm. Um, I really need to work on that. Um, Write out a plan with steps and results for each week. Review the plan each day and identify what needs to get done daily. And then the score yourself every week. Um, If you're not scoring your performance, then you kind of don't know how you're performing, as he said, and achieve at least the 85% of the plan. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, all of those were pretty big takeaways for me that I could definitely work on and improve. Um, So one of the things that I wanted to share, and Lori kind of keyed on this the other day we were meeting, and then you brought it up again today, is that I know from experience being on a team that I would show up every day and be scared. And like, you're so afraid of doing something wrong, right? And we've built this beautiful brand and we have all this beautiful marketing and it's really about the the steps we take every day to build our own business, right? And so we have this platform that is great and we've all, you know, added to that and we all bring a lot of value to our brand but really kind of taking that step back and understanding like like you said there's there's no such thing as um as accountability and you really have to set those standards for yourself and really think about every single day that you're running your own business um and and nobody no pretty picture that we post no social media outreach is going to to build your business. It's about the accumulation of consistency and and really treating it as such. So I think that that's just something that I, I wanted to share because I know from personal experience, I used to show up every day and be like, well, I'm just not going to do anything today because I don't know who to call. And maybe somebody else already called this person or um, I don't, you know, I don't want to be criticized for doing it the wrong way. Like, I mean, this business is it's, it's a learning lesson every single day, and no matter how much experience you have, you are going to be um, presented with new obstacles and new challenges that that we all get through as a team, and that's why we have one another. So I would just say, like, really kind of go into the rest of the year head first.